Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will find the area of trapezoids using the formula. Area is the two-dimensional space inside of a flat shape and is measured in square units. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is area equals one-half times the sum of the bases times the height. B1 is the length of our first base, B2 is the length of our second base, and H is the height of the trapezoid. The height's measured by a perpendicular line between our two bases. Let's take a look at our examples. To solve for the area of a trapezoid, we're going to use the formula area equals 1 half times the sum of our bases times the height, which means we need to label our bases in order to plug them into the formula. It doesn't matter which base you label as base 1 or base 2. I usually label the top base as base 1 and the bottom as base 2, but again, it does not matter which one you call base 1 or base 2. So we'll use 6 inches for base 1 and 10 inches for our base 2. We'll also need the height. Remember, the height is the perpendicular between the bases. So in this trapezoid, our height is this line that they've labeled with the dashed line, the 4 inches. So our height is 4 inches. And now we can go to that formula and begin substituting these values. So we're going to have area equals one half times base one, and we labeled our base one as the six inches. So we'll have one half times six plus our base two, which we labeled as the 10 inches. So six plus 10 in the parentheses times our height and our height we labeled as 4 inches, so we'll substitute 4 inches for h. Now we do have to solve what's inside the parentheses first, so we're going to have area equals 1 half times what's inside our parentheses, the 6 plus 10, so 1 half times 16 times the 4. And as you're starting out, I recommend that you show all of your steps and don't skip anything doing parts of the problem in your head. So now I have area equals 1 half times 16 times 4. And it doesn't matter which order you do these multiplication steps. I'm going to do 1 half times 16 because 16 divided by 2 is 8. And I still have the times 4 times the height. So I have area equals... 8 times 4, 8 times 4 is 32, and we're working in inches, so our area is 32 inches squared. We're going to be solving for the area of the trapezoid using our formula area equals 1 half times the sum of our bases times the height, and in our trapezoid we need to go ahead and label our bases and our heights so we can easily plug them into our equation. I'm going to use 4 centimeters as my base 1, which means I'll need to use the 9 centimeters as my base 2. But remember, it doesn't matter which one you label base 1 or base 2. Now we're also going to need a height in order to use our formula. And the height is the perpendicular line between the bases. In this example, it's going to be this side that's two centimeters long, as it's what's perpendicular to our bases. So our height will be two centimeters. Now we can go and start using our formula and plugging these values in. So we're going to have area equals one half times our base one. Our base one was the four centimeters. So we'll have one half times, we're gonna substitute the four centimeters in for our base one, plus our base two, which was nine centimeters. So we'll substitute nine centimeters for our base two. And then we have our height, and our height was two centimeters. So we'll substitute in two for the H in our formula. This gives us 1 half times 4 plus 9 times 2 because you have to solve what's inside the parentheses first. You're going to have 1 half times 13 times 2. And here's where you need to stop and think about what you have because you can do these multiplication steps in whichever order you choose. And we really don't want to work with fractions. 
multiplying 1 half times 13 is going to give you a fraction to work with. So I'm going to think about this problem as 1 half times 2 times 13. And if it helps you to write that step in order to do 1 half times 2 first, let's go ahead and rewrite it. So now I have 1 half times 2. Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And now that gives me 1 times 13 instead of having to work with a fraction had I left it in the other order. So now I have 1 times 13 equals my area. So area equals 13. And I'm working in centimeters. So my area is 13 centimeters squared. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.